Hey guys, Chad here, Hi Fi Picker. Uh, been a while since I've done a video. Um, obviously, if any of you have watched uh, the last video on my channel, uh, it was kind of more of a rant about uh, losing my ability to sell on eBay. But that happened in early October, and now here we are in early November, and it's been sort of a introspective month. Um, I've been selling on eBay since mid-1997 um, and it's always been sort of a like a security blanket for me um, I know the format well I know the notifications on my phone well I know when I get a sale I, it's always been something that's been very easy to use I haven't left eBay I actually started a new account and uh, been having a little bit of success there but uh, truthfully I've been selling on Etsy and Reverb and my revenue hasn't dropped off a cent. I hit my yeah, I hit my par and I hit uh, what I did uh, in sales in September in the month of October utilizing uh, Facebook groups, uh, utilizing um, Facebook collector pages, utilizing Etsy, utilizing Reverb, uh, utilizing Craigslist, uh, and using a lot of those avenues I had not been using to this to this point so uh, let me take you through all of the things that sold in the month of October and I think you'll probably be as surprised as I was my first Etsy sale after the eBay account was deactivated uh, was this Marantz 2238 Silverface vintage tuner uh, awesome items uh, these Marantz units sell faster than I can even really market them. Uh, everybody wants them. They're the classic silver face 70s look with the awesome blue lights. Uh, I did spend a few bucks to get some LED replacement bulbs in this and it really didn't change how it lights up which is the nice part about the 2238 and similar receivers from Marantz. You could put LEDs in them but since it filters all the light through these uh, kind of um, transparent blue lights uh, you can hit them with different color and it does a little bit but as far as brightness it's it's pretty much like the stock bulb so uh, 249 dollars and 99 cents that one sold for uh 58 views i think i had it up for about four days and it sold and it was the first thing to sell on the etsy store second etsy sale in the new store was this uh 71 pioneer sx 1000 kind of a weird quirky receiver uh, obviously, the early 70s stuff looked much different than their silver face blue lit stuff of the mid 70s, but still cool nonetheless. This is really kind of a transition era pioneer, as I call it. Um, coming out of the 60s, where everything looked like it came out of a console, uh, to kind of this uh, wood, wood grained cabinet with still kind of the console looking front. Uh, replace the lights with LEDs. Uh, not the most fantastic lit display. Uh, most of the light comes in and hits it at the side so the numbers light up, but it doesn't really do much. The Pioneer logo doesn't do much. So that's, even with brand new LED bulbs, this is what it looks like. So, uh, but still nice to get it lit up. Um, and it ended up selling for 125 bucks. So good sale. In my video, I talked about utilizing Facebook groups. Um, very, very fantastic revenue stream possibility with this. Um, I use one called Vintage Hi-Fi and Stereo Equipment. Um, this is a fantastic group. These guys are really cool, um, really nice people. I've turned, I've turned some of these people into really good customers, and I'm very happy about that. Um, and the first thing I sold uh, when the eBay store closed... Uh, is this Pioneer unit. This is the first one I sold on the Facebook group um, after what happened with the eBay store. Um, very good sale, $100 sale. Uh, the guy contacted me. I put it up. The guy contacted me the same night. Um, I was asking $125. He talked me down to $100. Um, but a really good sale and ended up uh, posting on my auction or on my sale after it and gave me a nice good review so um, these Facebook groups are a critical part of selling and if you can make them work and get in there as a member um, you kind of can't really walk in there and just start slinging stuff uh, interact with some people um, you know talk with some people get you know become a presence in the group 
and it'll carry a lot more weight when you start selling people versus just coming in there and just immediately selling things. So kind of make yourself at home, get to know some of them, and you'll have good luck utilizing it in sales. So uh, right here, this is a $100 sale that I would have not gotten had I not been on Facebook. I don't do a whole lot with newer 90s and 2000s units, uh, but every once in a while I'll come across a good brand and I'll grab them. I really like to grab the, um, the home or commercial units by like Niles or Sonance. The big 6 to 12 channel distribution amplifiers, they always sell because people are buy them for commercial applications because you can drive 6 to 12 pairs of speakers at a time, but um, every once in a while I'll grab a, a 5.1 or a 6.1 or a 7.1 ProLogic receiver if it's made by a good brand, and this was a Rotel RSX 1056. Um, it's actually 6.1, but there's a 7.1 expansion on it, um, and this one ended up selling. I had it listed on Etsy, and this one ended up selling on uh, Craigslist. I had it listed here locally in St. Cloud, Minnesota on Craigslist and uh, it ended up selling for $250. So it was a good pickup. Um, I think the guy was a Rotel fan because I didn't think it would sell that high, but evidently this guy collects them, so it worked out just fine. Uh, we got it in, it just took a slight amount of cleaning, and it was a very good A little sale. bit of turntable inventory coming in here at the end of the fall, um, getting into winter time, I think. You know, seasonally, I think of when people, when seasons are changing, I, pe I think people are discarding things and, and cleaning out their house. We seem to see spikes in the spring, um, transitioning into summer, and then obviously the winter into spring, and so on and so forth. So, uh, when the seasons change, it seems to be when people are cleaning out their house. So, um, I ended up getting this one, um, got it in, it was in pretty good shape, it needed a new belt, it had a good stylus on it, um, obviously the dust cover was really, really nice. Um, just a nice turntable all the way around. Uh, the dual turntables are German made. They kind of have a funky market. I think they're cool, but I don't like a turntable that has a bouncy base. I mean, I understand for noise isolation and things, but I'm more of a fan of the solid plinth um, and a the platter. Um, these are kind of bouncy and they seem to, they feel like console turntables to me because they're on springs. Uh, but a lot of people like them, and I've gotten a few in. I'm picking up a couple more this week, as a matter of fact. Uh, this one ended up selling for $125 plus $35 bucks in shipping. Um, great sale. Super nice turntable. Uh, the There was something with the raisin lower mechanism. It was working, but it would stick once in a while. So I noted that in the sale, and I ended up getting a positive feedback on Reverb from this turntable so a uh, very good sale and our actual first reverb.com sale so very happy about that item i'm going to cover in full here is our best sale of the month um, i picked up this collection from a gentleman in the minneapolis metro area um, it was a set of pioneer cs77a walnut speakers um, I actually had the CS99 and then I've got the round ones as well, all from that same 1971 lineup. Um, so it's the CS77A walnut speakers, uh, beautiful, immaculate, no broken lattice, pulled the grills off, the brown speakers, everything was perfect. They had the manuals, uh, they had the service receipts, they had the original purchase receipt. Um, so. Uh, that was paired up with the PL50 turntable. Uh, that was also awesome. Just mint condition with the manual, as you can see here. Uh, a nice stylus and the repair kit with an extra stylus, extra head shell, screwdriver, lube, the whole deal. And then finished off with a Pioneer SX9000 receiver. Uh, like I spoke early in the video about the Pioneer SX1000TW uh, receiver that I sold earlier. Uh, like I said, they are transition era pioneer. They have a funky look. Uh, they look early 70s. They look like they came out of a console. Uh, so they don't have as much selling power as the silver face blue lit mid 70s pioneer models. But this didn't matter because I ended up listing it on Etsy all separate. And then I also packaged it as a full Pioneer stereo system, and that's how it sold. So it surprised the hell out of me that instead of an individual component, 
um, a customer ended up jumping on there and grabbing this and she was very cool she was very excited to get every, you know, get everything in one shot um, I packaged it all up really nice uh, a couple of rolls of double of bubble wrap on the speakers lots of bubble wrap on everything safely box and double box and it went to Milwaukee and it got there safe and I got a positive feedback out of it so we ended up selling the whole thing for $799.95, so uh, $800 sale, um, about $140 in shipping, uh, our best sale of the month, and one of those encouraging, uh, encouraging sales after the eBay debacle. Thank you guys for watching very much. If you appreciate this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, and uh, I'd love to have your subscription. So go ahead and click that subscribe button, and feel free to leave me any comments or feedback down below. Thank you guys very much and have a good one.